Hi, I'm Costa from ESC Extra and today I'll be reacting to Stefania by Kalush Orchestra, Ukraine's entry for Eurovision 2022. Okay, um, we're here, we made it. It's been a bit, already a very tumultuous uh, path to Eurovision for Ukraine for many reasons. They haven't quite made it yet, but at present, at the time of recording, Stefania by Kalush Orchestra is Ukraine's entry and I'm going to react to it. But first, one sec, if just excuse me. Okay, pressing play now. I love it opening of this entry I think it's so impactful and I think anytime you start with a chorus you're in for a win at Eurovision they don't do it. people don't do it enough in my opinion just to say I think the styling is on point and I love the LEDs behind they it really just feels like a celebration of Ukrainian culture which I think is exactly what people tune in for and exactly what people are wanting from Ukraine especially this year of all years the way they blend modern sounds, the rap with the traditional folk elements and the flute, it's done with such an authenticity that I do think that televoters especially will really gravitate towards it. Nice clap along moment. I love you can see the audience on either side clapping along. And the panel for that matter. There's definitely an anthemic quality to this song, which transcends language. I think that can be very powerful when we get to May. They really fill the stage. Obviously, it's easy to do that when you have six people, but even still, there's a party going on and it feels joyful in a very effortless way. This is my favourite part of the song. The way the beat kind of changes, it intensifies. It's so catchy and it's just such an earworm for me. Okay, that was Kalush Orchestra with Stefania. Just to say, I was a huge, and still am, a huge Alina Pash stan, and I'm very sad she won't be going to Eurovision. Probably ever, let's be honest. But this did win the televote quite convincingly, and it seems that Ukraine are behind their entry, and that's all I am. At this time, that's all I'm really interested in. I love it. Nothing really more to say. I think it's fantastic. I think it's got a lot of top 10 potential. I think it's super creative as an entry optically to send to Eurovision this year and I think they will get the result that they deserve if they make it to Eurovision that is. Uh, all right let's cut to some other people from ESC Extra to see what they have to say about Stefania. This is a really good entry from Ukraine. I actually preferred over the other one that they originally selected. Um, I mean it's in Ukrainian that's always really fun. Um, it's upbeat, it's really well performed too. Um, I really hope this does well. So Ukraine is basically, once again, showing why they are so beloved at Eurovision with this very song. I mean, it's got absolutely everything in it. It's got rapping, an emotional chorus, and also a flute passage, um, which is the Ukrainian Talenka, I believe, but please correct me if I'm wrong. And I do have to commend um, Kalish Orchestra's charisma on stage as they managed to just give everybody in the band a say and the way that they facilitate the whole group and their performance must be commended and I really am curious to see what they do at Eurovision and I wish them all the very best. Right, that was my reaction. Um, make sure you like this video, subscribe to ESC Extra and also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok and Instagram at ESC Extra and log on to ESCExtra.com for all the latest Eurovision news in the run up to Turin. I've been Costa, thank you very much and have a good day.